So how was your first long choppy ride? It was, it was bumpy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> hey, you did good. I was just telling them, I said, yeah. she's, she's good. She's a good rider because you can keep up. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Avian, and we are in Key West today. I don't even know what day it is anymore. I think it's the day eight, day 10 for us. No, day eight for us, I think. The Keys is not really known for being PWC friendly. I mean, some guys, you got some bad apples that make all us other PWC riders look bad. But we're not all bad. We're not all bad, remember that. We're gonna be launching somewhere near Isla Morada, I think. And then we're gonna be going to Alligator Reef, do some snorkeling, and check out some other places and do some riding and see what else we can get into. Hopefully, we see some alligators on the water. That's our mission today. Let's see some alligators. You think we're gonna see some, Karina? I hope not. She, yes, she does. See, we swam with school sharks the other day and stingrays. Now, we just gotta go and see if we can find some alligators. All right, let's go. All right, I just had to jump over here real quick. We had a hard time finding um, a ramp. Uh, always call the ramp before you go to the location so you're not driving around. But we have just launched at John Penningkamp State Park. They are PWC super friendly um, and inexpensive compared to all the other ones. And they have a lot of ramp space and parking space. So that makes it very convenient. This ramp was $10 a trailer plus uh, $4.50 per person or $10 for four people in a vehicle. So now we're just waiting for Karina to come back. She went to go put the truck and trailer up and then we're gonna be heading out through there and we're gonna be checking out the Keys area. As you can see, Karina is on the back today with me and we're gonna be testing out these headphones I know she's sitting right behind me, but when you're riding, you really can't hear each other. So having headphones is another way of just communicating with each other with not just the riders around you, but the ones that are sitting on your ski. So, and we can tell each other like while we're sightseeing what we can see.
right, guys, I didn't even film coming in, but we're all finished up at Hog Heaven. Um, you'll see it in the video with the relive about how to get here. You have to like take through the channel and then stay in between the PVC pipes to make sure that you are not in a shallow, shallow area. But we're over here now. We're about to get on the skis and get going. We're back on our skis. I just dumped about two gallons into the tank and we're about 38 miles already. So now we're gonna book it because it looks pretty calm out there right now. Back to the marina, to John Penningcamp State Park. And I'll finish up there. So come on, let's hurry up and get out of here. the channel to John Penningham Park. Serena got beat up. Both of us feel nauseated, like we're gonna get throw up. But this was even worse than the crossing. Still good. Still fun. Still fun. Right, guys so th that is it we are done with alligator reef today this was even more choppier than when we crossed over to Bimini totally and not worth it. with a passenger it's not worth it. what she doesn't think it's worth it I didn't like it she didn't like it because it was choppy but no it was okay it's too many oh you can't go here you can't go there it's there's a lot, a lot of, of shallow areas and channels it's and stupid. protected areas they don't want you to go through so I mean you never know but at least there's no oyster beds that's the main thing if you like this video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and if you have any questions comment down below but until next time see y'all on the water